hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's great to see you guys again today in this tutorial we are going to look up for the shortcuts which is available for the tools here in this toolbar and also for the menu and also we are going to import and export the settings so under edit menu you can find the keyboard shortcuts and the shortcut to open the keyboard shortcut is alt plus shift plus control plus k so here i'm going to click at that so when you click at the keyboard shortcuts as you can see we have the tools and we have the menu commands so all the tools available in this toolbar as you can see we have the selection we have direct selection so we have the pen we have every tool shortcuts available right here so the shortcut is over here and it's going to be the sample for this shortcut so if I want to change any shortcut right here before I want to change any shortcut let me search like if I want to search for a so here I can check this match case so I can see anything that is going to be am or something like this match case or if you want to search for a specific keywords here like Y so as you can see we have this Y and if you check match case as you can see it's going to show you some match here for this keyword so if I want to change the direct selection uh, shortcut here so first I'm going to select and click here so now it's selected so now I can just replace it with any keyword in my keyword so I'm going to replace that with W when you put W so here as you can see we uh, there is this note that the shortcut W was already in use so you can click on go to conflicts you can see the conflict is used for the blend so you have to replace that with any other keyword so I'm going to select this again and again click here to select this keyword and replace it with one so for one there is no conflict and there is no other tools is using this shortcut or this keyword or this number so I'm going to just hit OK so when you hit OK so it's going to ask you you want to save the key set here so it's going to be your custom key set on the top as you can see we have the custom so I'm going to call it my set for tools so let me show you here uh, my set for tool is now saved as uh, my own custom shortcut so I can just change any shortcut not only for the tools I can change it for menu comments as well so I can click on the menu comments under file so I'm going to change this new to control M and hit OK and yes I want to override this so under file as you can see it's changed to this control plus M and also for direct selection tool as you can see we have this one so this is how you can create your own custom shortcuts here and if you don't remember all the shortcuts and you want to remember everything here when you create your own custom so you can export that into text so you can click at that so you can see all the shortcuts in a text document so now I can select the location to export all the shortcuts so I'm going to click on the save so it's going to save on the .txt so I can see all the shortcuts inside that txt and if I want to make this default so I'm going to click on the set on the top so I can click on illustrator default or uh, if you change any other like if you uh, go with the custom and change the shortcut so you can click on this save key set file or if you want to delete anyone so here you can select that and click on this delete right here let me show you that txt which is here my set for tools let me open this 
so you can see all the shortcuts which is available inside this txt so as you can see for the tools we have selection v for direct selection we have one so we have all the shortcuts available here i can use to remember all the shortcuts from this txt document So under edit menu we have a lot of presets on previous tutorials uh, we we used to uh, set the print presets here under edit menu and also other PD, Adobe PDF presets and perspective grid so if I want to add any new settings right here for the print preset like I want to add this one so I want to add a new something like I want to change some options for the artboard and for the marks so I'm going to just okay so here I have some presets and I want to export it with the settings which is right here with my illustrator so I'm going to click on export settings so here as you can see we have the date and I can click on save so I'm going to save the settings right here so now my settings settings were exported successfully successfully so i'm going to hit ok so i can import if you delete some of the setting like this print preset a print preset one so i'm going to delete that and also this one or maybe you're going to delete the preset from this perspective create or this uh, transparency flat flattener presets so you can just go to this my settings and click on import settings so here as you can see importing settings will replace existing settings to apply the settings illustrator will restart it so you have to click on ok so you have to search find the location for that so here we have that so I can select that let me see it's uh, the date it's I think 64 so as you can see settings were import successfully so we'll restart to apply the settings now illustrator is restarted let me show you the brand preset if there is the settings is restored or not so i'm going to click on the print preset so i can see yes there is we have the print preset restored and also we have the print preset one copy here we have so this is how you can export and import and also how you can create your shortcuts under edit menu with this which is keyboard shortcuts you can create your own custom or you can see the default shortcuts which is available for the tools in this toolbar and for the menu so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learn how to use these options under edit menu and if you have any question or doubt please let me know in the comment box of this video and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and also subscribe to the channel so see you guys in the next video